flash fiction, um, stories under a thousand words. I would can't even conceive of doing what he did. <laughs> Healing time. The news wasn't good, my father told me over the phone, and then he hung up. I called my sister in Cleveland and told her that the news wasn't good. And when she began to ask specific questions, I said to her, I'm sorry, I don't know, and I hung up. She called my brother, who lived four doors down from me. But since we didn't speak, she told him that I had called and said the news wasn't good. <laughs> He asked her to explain, and she told him that she couldn't. That's all she knew. You're siding with our brother, he said, and hung up. <laughs> Next, my brother called my mother's hospital room, but no one answered the phone. I put on my hoodie and kids and drove to the hospital, but my mother had left instructions that her sons were not allowed in her room. So I called back my sister and told her that she'd have to come out and talk to her mother since us guys weren't allowed in the room. The next day, I picked up my Cleveland sister from the airport and drove her straight to the hospital. On the way to my mother's room, we came head to head with our father, who hadn't spoken to my sister since he caught her going down on her boyfriend in her sophomore year in high school. My sister stayed in her mother's room for hours while I sat outside the room and my father sat in the waiting room talking to my neighbor brother who didn't speak to me. <laughs> Hungry, I walked into the waiting room and bought myself a payday and a Dr. Pepper from the vending machines. My brother walked out and I sat next to my father and ate my lunch while my brother and neighbor took over my seat outside my mother's hospital room. After a while, my sister and my brother walked into the waiting room and stood blocking the door so neither my father nor I could leave. She said that mom was gone and at peace. I asked her what she and mom talked about for all those hours. And she said that mom had asked her to keep their conversation confidential, <laughs> as long as we had family members not speaking to each other. <laughs> my sister and my neighbor brother walked into the waiting room and closed the door behind them. They took seats and my sister began and said to our father, that she forgives him for not speaking to her and bears no ill feelings and hopes that he'll come to Cleveland and meet her husband and kids. He shot her a look and got up and walked out of the room. I began to say something to my neighbor brother and he held up his hand as if to say, don't bother, and left the room. And then it was me and my sister from Cleveland alone in the room and we'd always spoken so I asked her what mom had said. She told me that as much as she wanted to tell me, because it was information that I'd like to know and should know, but she'd have to live up to a promise and not say anything until all of us were talking. I took my last bite of payday and walked out, leaving her to find her own way back to the airport in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs>